Hey, hey, welcome to the video. I bestow upon you the gift of welcoming our gears. Okay, welcome. In today's video, we were hoping to be doing a three minute van tour. We'd been set a little challenge by our friends, but just like whenever you know somebody's coming over to your house, you decide you want to give it a deep clean. But we went one step further and decided that we wanted to take on loads of van projects, finish stuff off, upgrade our van, and we definitely bit off more than we could chew. Yeah, when you have a, a list the length of your arm and you think you're gonna do it all in the morning, but it takes you three days. <laughs> That's us right now. That's us. So we're at the DIY shop and we've been in the car park all morning and I assume that we'll be here all day. Yeah, pretty much. So we weren't planning to film any of this. We were just gonna like do all these upgrades and then film the van tour. But now we've realized that we're only halfway through these upgrades. We're definitely not gonna get them finished. So we're picking up the camera halfway through to show you guys us finish it off. And then in tomorrow's video, if we get everything done, which I hope we will, tomorrow we'll be showing you a three minute van tour. Yeah, well, I'm just, I won't sleep tonight until we get everything done. Okay. Unless you get really stressed and then you decide you wanna go climbing. <laughs> There's a climbing gym here. There's a climbing gym just around the corner from this B and key. Anyway, we'll have to get stuck into this work, get it all finished, and uh, let's just show you what we've got up to so far. No tour is getting done right now. Absolutely not. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a building site going on. Yeah. We've been doing okay. some painting. I've been doing stuff in the back in the Bauhaus car park. What are we like, guys? What are we like? The paint's taking longer to dry than we had hoped as well, so go show them the nice paint job before we put stuff in it. So Keely busted out the white paint, and we also put a couple of coats of Danish oil on it to just seal the wood and make it look nice. So here you go, check it out. Dun, dun, dun. Not too shabby. Actually looks pretty, pretty what? What does it look, Keely? Pretty sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Not the word I was looking for, no. but I'll, I'll take it. I was just gonna say, look speck. Speck. Yeah, she does. She looks spiffy. Let me show you what else we have been doing in this car park. So you've seen that we started to clad the back doors and we didn't get finished, but check it out. Bam, bam, bam. So as you know, we didn't have the full length for down here, but it's okay because this covers what you see from the van. Not so bad, eh? What else have we got to do? Oh yeah, more stuff to show. We've been very busy. Yeah man, and we've uh, maybe spent a bit of money. <laughs> spent way too much money. Yeah, we got excited, we're getting cute baskets to put in the thing, and then when we've seen cute baskets, we've seen cute cushions, and then, you know guys, we're a sucker for gussying up the van. We've got a nice new rug. We are terrible. We managed to find our way to an Ikea just to get the vegan meatballs. Oh my word, they were good. But then vegan meatballs also turned into walking around Ikea for two hours. I have no regrets, okay? We live in a very small space, a very minimalist life, so you have to cherish what you've got, you know? But we were going for specific things. You don't know what this is right now, but Ow. it's... Oh, sorry. I bought me. It's just a very cheap blackout blind. So this is what you're, this is what you're gonna see us fit. The paint we're waiting for it to dry, and while the paint dries, we're gonna have a crack of trying to sort out this window because I'm not sure how many of you have seen the thing we've been using, but it's not great. In hindsight, we should have recorded us doing all the stuff to the van, but we were just panicked because we wanted to get this done. But no, I will record us trying to work out some way to put up this blind. So we got a little net curtain as well. And in the DIY store, we got these little D-rings that I fastened onto this corner of the window and this corner as well. And we put it up and see what we think of this neck curtain now. We just thought it was super cute. And it was the perfect size as well. It is perfect size. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. It fits in there too well. But it's up to you, like, it doesn't look bad that, does it? Oh no, like, let's be clear, it doesn't look bad. I'm just wondering, like, oh, what's the point of it? To look friggin' so cute, man. Okay. What do you mean? What's the point of it? <laughs> How cute is that? Cute? How cute? How cute is that? Okay. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, people? Comment below, is this cute or not? Yeah, people can let us know, net or no net. But, irregardless of the net, we need to put up the blackout blind because that net has no function apart from aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need to measure this blind. Obviously, um, we've got a dreamies at hand whenever Keely's peckish. <laughs> 
Do you want to measure? Just open? Okay, it's open. Open so the It's gray. Ooh. Why did you sniff it? I like to smell things. Okay. Check it out. I know I say it every time we do any sort of band build stuff, but it looks legit. <laughs> uh, so obviously this is half of it done, and then we're going to have another one to go on here. Tomorrow we just cut knife. it with <laughs> Keely's tomato now. It's actually really easy to cut. It also comes with these little doofers that act as your handles and some Velcro. Is that all right? What do you think? It looks legit. <laughs> it looks legit, man. It looks legit. I mean, this is something that people usually do as soon as they move into their vans. Yeah, but we only just installed the window before we We've came almost been holiday. in there for two years. This is what we've been using up until now. That I put some absolutely divine blue velvet on the back of. And as you can see, it did not take well. We have to like tie bits of macrame cord to it. And... That is because you cut it to the exact size of the window. Yeah, link to the video when it shows me feeling it did not work. <laughs> but this does. Bench update. Are we dry? Oh, uh, we're getting there. We're definitely a lot drier. Sunset over the freeway. As the sun is setting, it started to get really like moist and dewy out here. So we're gonna have to put everything back in the van somehow, even though it's still wet. And Kili's gonna sign you guys off because we are in Zagreb in the city and there's a climbing gym close and thankfully you know my wife is very sacrificial and is editing this video while I'm climbing so I appreciate you so much. No problem and in a wee second I'm going to announce the winner of the macrame giveaway. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Congratulations whoever you are. Let's pack up and get the flip out of here. Thank you we enjoyed our stay. So luckily, because we're such a ridiculously small YouTube channel, uh, I don't have loads and loads of names to have to do. So I've just written them down. I'm gonna put, fold up the little pieces of paper and uh, choose a winner for my macrame plant hanger. So this, I still think is legit the best one I've made so far. This little beauty is what is up for grabs. Look at all this love and effort put into this thing. Okay, so uh, without further ado, I will choose the names for you now. Okay, names are in a hat. Shaky. Let's see who this is. Can you see that? Michelle Woods. There you go. Michelle, I will message you on YouTube and hopefully you see the message so that we can like DM and get your address and stuff. And I will send you out that lovely little plant hanger. I have no idea how long it's gonna take to get from Croatia, but there you go. Thanks for saying that you wanted it. So tomorrow we're gonna have our little like mini van tour. Hopefully all this stuff is nice and dry for it. And make sure you guys join us for that because um, you'll get to see all this stuff in all this glorious detail and anyone who's interested in the setup of our van We're gonna basically give a summary of everything and how stuff works. We'll see you for that tomorrow Bye